a way of resolving disputes in all walks of life. Peer mediation follows a process for trained pupil mediators to help fellow students in conflict. Without staff involvement, disputants are facilitated to gain better mutual understanding of what is happening, why, and to find their own way to an acceptable solution. This process is built into the school's behaviour policy and is bound by some universal ground rules. We have some mediation ground rules just to keep things fair. We listen to each other while the other person is talking as you'll both have your own time to tell your side of the story. You decide the solution. We are only here to guide you and not tell you what to do. We're unbiased, so we won't take sides. And everything you tell us in confidence today will be confidential. Unless we find serious cases involving drugs, weapons, etc. And in that case, we may have to pass on to a senior member of staff. Warning bells would go off quite quickly with the students. They, they've been, it's been made clear through the training that, of course, staff need to know of the really important things that go on. Now, of course, we respect confidentiality when it's appropriate. Students, I think, with the thorough training that they've had, understand there will be times they have to come to staff with any concerns that they have. We show respect for everyone in the room, us to you and you to us. We ask that you tell the truth. If you tell the truth, it will make this whole process a lot easier. We can break or reschedule at any time if you feel you need a break or if we feel we do. Any questions? Okay. Do you agree with these ground rules? Yep. Yep. Okay. Kieran, I'm struggling to understand you. Can you tell me again what happened to your phone? Well, basically, I keep my phone locked away in my room. And she was over my house one time because we were doing some homework. And then the next day I woke up, went to go and get my phone and it wasn't there. So I'm just assuming it was Jenna that took the phone. So Jenna, what do you think happened to Kieran's phone? Well, I know I didn't take it, so maybe it could have been his sister. I mean, I know she likes to go and play games, so maybe she just thought, oh, I'll use that. Maybe she went and hid it somewhere. So do you think it's possible that your little sister took your phone? Maybe. What do you think happened to your phone? Well, I have a little sister who is quite playful, but I usually ignore her. She usually tries to get my attention, so there's a possibility that she took it. Okay, and as this mediation comes to an end, what would you like to happen? Well, I'd like to be friends again, and maybe we could both help try and find out if his sister did something, and we can both look together inside his house. Okay. Thank you for coming to Thanks. mediation. So as a school, we've got a strong focus on promoting student leadership and giving students the opportunity to uh, own their own learning, to take responsibility for their own behaviour and to support each other in the community in making sure that they meet their potential. And this work really mirrors that approach to student ownership of their own learning. I think often, and again, I can speak very much as a, as a parent here, I think um, it, children actually have enormous capacity to resolve their own issues and often can resolve them far more effectively than when an adult gets involved. If they have those skills to solve those problems, you know, it is a huge life skill and also they probably realise long term that actually there are many issues they can sort out themselves. The key elements of the P mediation from the beginning has been their ownership. I think the concept is uh, very good, it's very positive and it gives the students within the school um, the responsibilities and tools to be more self-reliant and to support the whole of the student population. Because often, as anybody who is a parent knows, um, little sort of disputes can occur and gradually build up into great mountains. And obviously the mediators um, hopefully will be able to 
maybe nip these things in the bud, or even when sometimes there are some big mountains <laughs> that actually reduce them. To develop those skills in students is absolutely fantastic. The mediation trainers have been involved making sure students understand how to conduct themselves with the students, but there are so many aspects to this scheme that can be of great uh, positive um, outcome for our students. More ownership of their learning and their leadership, um, and peer mediation has really supported us through that element of the journey um, and to see the children grow and develop and take ownership um, of, for each other um, and their own issues has been wonderful to observe. It will allow um, staff to be able to deal with more serious issues if necessary or to actually spend time doing other things. I, I, I feel very positive about this. I, I think the best way of students resolving issues amongst themselves is to sort it out amongst themselves. We then said to um, the staff who normally deal with these problems and the students themselves was to think of it from an angle that sometimes students find it far easier to talk about their problems with their peers. Um, and for them to develop those skills and then use those skills and see the impact those skills make is great for their confidence and then it encourages them to keep going. I'd just like to thank Mountains to Mole Hills for their support and for making this possible because it's been of enormous benefit to the students and we've really enjoyed the experience, so thank you.